Oh, you took me what? to the wrong camp, Chad. Did you make me pay five dollars and you took me to I the took wrong you camp? To wrong camp. Oh, five dollars. Oh wait, <laughs> that's right. We. Oh, that's right. Well, at least you're not too <laughs> awful far wow. across the map. Wow. Are you? Are she like all the way across the map from us? Yeah. She's in tumbleweed, I do believe. Oh my god. <laughs> Kate, you've played video games, right? Mm -hmm. Have you ever played a game so meticulous that it makes you go insane? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> well, you played Animal Crossing. Yeah. Animal Crossing, to a certain degree, is meticulous. Because yeah. certain things, you know, certain things, certain places, and all that stuff. Now, imagine, if you will, that... You know, for your fishing pole. You know, your fishing pole that you use. Mm -hmm. um, the reel tears up every, like, five times you use it. The pole breaks every ten times you use it. And also, um, you have to deal with uh, being hungry, uh, being thirsty. So you have to, like, eat, drink, rest, and all that just to maintain yourself. And basically, you know, all that shit's going on, and everything that you do basically can get you killed just like that. And also, every time you go to repair your fishing pole, it's actually 100% realistic, and you have to open it up and actually replace the specific parts that fucked up. Yes. Are you kidding? My Summer Car is that game. It's set in Finland in the 1990s, and your character has this little dinky coupe uh, rally car that... He has to repair and has to compete in rally races, mm -hmm. but the world around him is very hostile and winds up killing you on a regular basis. And repairing the car is 100% accurate to actually building a whole fucking car. Yes. Yes, it is. That sounds like a cool game. And here's the thing. I thought so too. And then I watched Martin Cito Pants play the first part of this. This is him. This is the second part. So we're kind of filling the blanks in for Kate. So he tried to, and he wound up dying four times? I can't remember. Yeah, he wound up dying four times, and every time he died, it was a more ridiculous way. For instance, uh, he was on his way back to his house. He was uh, running back to his house. There was a rally car race happening. The driver swerved off the road, pow, killed him. <laughs> what the heck? Then, another time, he went into this uh, barn to collect these wheels that a farmer said that he could have. Small problem. There was a gigantic hornet's nest in there, and not only that, but your character is allergic to hornets. So, you get stung by those enough, you die. Mm. And also, your only modes of transportation are a little scooter, which can carry almost nothing, and a big fuck-all excavate, or big fuck-all backhoe, uh, which it can store a lot of stuff in the cabin, but it is slow. I'm talking... You know, you've seen those, those like, tractors on the back yeah. roads, right? You had to, like, go around them and everything? Mm -hmm. That's what you're on, basically. And You drive a tractor? Yes, basically. <laughs> and this game is torture, but so many people love this game that it... It's almost like Stockholm Syndrome. It's holding them hostage. Well, this dude just kind of does that with all his games, too. Like, Martin plays games and gives himself, like, ridiculous challenges. Therefore, oh. his avatar is a frog with very tired-looking eyes. Yes. Oh my God. So and he also, just looks very tired all the time from all the shit he puts himself through. Also, not only that, but Martin, in one of his previous videos, completed a game called Just Cause in one sitting where he stayed up for over, I think... 35 hours straight playing the same game and he actually fell asleep a couple times during the stream and like veered off the road and everything he's like <sighs> okay let's try that again Re restart the race restart the race I could have done that when I was my in my God. early 20s but like now that I'm in my 30s like I would absolutely just end up falling completely asleep on the stream I've done it I have stayed up I stayed up playing a game. Uh, see, the longest I've ever done, I think, is yeah, about uh, almost twenty some odd hours. It was Red Dead. It was Red Dead Redemption Two. Mm. Yeah, half like half of it is on stream. The rest of it, I don't know what the hell happened to it. But <laughs> uh, 
like over 12 hours of it is on stream. I can do 12 hours, no problem. Wow. But beyond that, I'm kind of like, nah. But that's, <laughs> hey, I'll say this. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a very, very fun game. And I wasn't bored from the game. It's just, after 20 hours, I was just like... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> is it daytime again oh crap all right i gotta do this in the camp again just get back into playing the game again <laughs> uh but my summer car by the way someone gifted this to me on uh <laughs> on steam and i thank you but in the end i may curse your name especially if i decide to play this game and take it seriously because I'm afraid I... Do I, it. Do it. Do it. You gotta I, play I, it I, now. I can hear it in the comment <laughs> section. Do it. Do it. Do it. Martin Cito Pants as well. He's gonna watch this reaction to us and be like, do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. So, uh, I guess... Is it multiplayer? I think there's a mod for that, but oh. the original game, I think, is just single player. Oh. Uh, but anyway, Martin Cito Pants... If it was multiplayer, I'd say you should play it with Rick. That'd be oh. hilarious. <laughs> Rick, Rick would, Rick would basically troll, do nothing but troll me the entire time. Yeah, yeah he like, doesn't never get anything. <laughs> done. He would, he would be like, "Hey Nate, is this supposed to be in the engine, dude? That's the piston. Why did you take the piston out? I don't know. It looked shiny. <laughs> God damn it!" And, then, yeah, and he's like, "Whoops, I dropped it," and it rolls down a hill into the lake. Kaboom. Well. <laughs> Guess Rick? who gets to drive to the store to get a new one, Rick? You on the tractor. Get on it now. <laughs> yeah, he's like, aww. It's like four <laughs> days later. And all of a sudden, I'm, all of a sudden, he comes back. I'm dead from starvation. Yeah. <laughs> and he's just, and he's just like, oh. Well, I guess I don't need this piston anymore. Throws it in the river. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God dang it! I could see that so vividly. Uh, I love you, Rick, but you are, you are a. You're bad for my health. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, here we go. Hello again. Welcome back to Finland. In the last video, we experienced the many wonders of Finnish culture. Building a rally car, getting very intoxicated, tractor driving, oh. dying of dehydration, hydraulic press channel, dying from pissing yeah. on the TV. Ah! Oh, that's the other way he died. He pissed oh, yeah. on his television set. Oh, he, no. just, he just spawned into the world, and he's just like, you know what, fuck this game. I'm going to piss on my TV set. And he died oh, no. from being electrocuted. Somebody <laughs> told me a good Finland thing last night, by the way. It's like, I would move to Finland. The flag is a big plus. <sighs> <laughs> Whoever you are, I don't even know funny. your name, but I hate you. Doc, Doc told him to get the fuck out. He's like, get out! Get out! <laughs> He's like, leave! Oh, God. As you can see up here, you know, you have, uh, you know, thirst, hunger, stress, urine. By the way, that's urine, meaning you have to piss. It's mandatory you for you in the game to yeah. piss. Fatigue, meaning that you must rest, or else that when this max is out, you die from a, you die from exhaustion. You have to bathe. Yes. Bathing is all. You can just jump in the river with some soap and just... All right, we're good. <laughs> Whilst getting into a bus, having the bus collide with another car head-on, getting stuck, preventing your progress, hopping on a motorbike and dying from a rally car smashing into you at 150 kilometers an hour. You know, normal finish stuff. Last video we died a lot of times, and made zero progress. Because every time I died, I had to start over from the beginning. In this video, I've disabled permadeath. Trust me, this was a good idea. Today, we're going to actually build up our rally car, and, with some luck, win the rally. Death will not stop us. But... <laughs> so, let us begin. <laughs> Here we go. We began back at home, with the car ready for assembly. I got the wheels from the wasp infested mansion, and the car was built. To get the car running, I had to buy a few more things from town. Of course, the only vehicle I had access to. I love the fact that in, in the tractor. To get the car running, I had to buy a few more things. In the things. tractor, his only <laughs> supplies are beer. <laughs> Beer. That's Finland. That's an essential. That's Finland. <laughs> from town. Of course, the only vehicle I had access to was the slow, not fun, very boring tractor. Normally, getting to town would take it about 15 minutes. However, I got into town significantly faster because of this. <laughs> no! Oh no! Whoa. The train. Disabling permadeath was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my entire life. 
Because if I had to build the car again, things would have gone down very differently. <laughs> I woke up in the graveyard in town, bought the battery I needed, and pondered how to get home. Our best option was getting a ride from the guy in the green car. My cousin. Peter. Hey. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best name. Cousin fuck. Cousin fuck. Can I get a ride? It's like it's like cousin it me cousin fuck. Cousin fuck, this is cousin it. And then of course cousin it would be played by Nick, of course. And then some guy from Rally Rally comes out. Sorry, what might I say cousin fuck? And it's like it's like, get back in the tool shed, Ned. <laughs> We don't need you out here. <laughs> this is a man that has nothing better to do than drive along the dirt road at ridiculous speeds, 24 hours a day, one hand on the wheel, and the other on the vodka. Definitely someone not like to climb into a car. Now, if you were being driven home by a raging alcoholic, do you think swearing at him would be a good idea? Fuck yes. Shortly after giving him the finger, he stopped the gas, accelerated to a very high speed, launched the car at 100 kilometers an hour directly into a tree, and we died. And we both died. Maybe swearing at him was not such a good idea. Yes. But this time, I let him drive me home at a much more reasonable 60 kilometers an hour. <laughs> but you know what can go a lot faster than 60 kilometers an hour? The F-14 Tomcat from today's sponsor, War Hunter. I mean War Thunder. That's right, boys. Wow. The most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever created. 2,000 vehicles, tanks, aircraft, helicopters, and... <laughs> oh, no. Combined arms war... <laughs> Come on, say it. <laughs> say it, you bastard. Fine, I'll do it. There you have it. You have your boat. <laughs> what does that even mean? I have no idea. It's either multiple modes of combat within the same battle space or something to do with Siamese twins. Every single vehicle is detailed and modeled down to the spores detail. Health bars? No. You fool. You idiot. You moron. Every component is deeply modeled. Oh no, my tracks have been shot. Oh no, my turret can't rotate. Oh no. I'm dead. War Hunter, I mean War Thunder, offers the most immersive possible combat experience. And guess what? It's free. Play it now on PC, Xbox Series X, S, PlayStation 5, or any previous generation console. War Hunter, I mean War Thunder spans over 100 years of vehicle warfare. Bike planes, gunships, whatever the hell this thing is. Wait, you don't have a joystick to fly the F-14 Tomcat? Don't you worry, fucko, you can fly with a mouse. My favorite thing about War Hunter, I mean... Yeah, but flying with a mouse fucking blows. I tried it. Here, he, okay, I'm looking at this right here, and there is one... I have a name for this thing, you know what I... Uh, the Virgin Guard, because there is no way this man is not a virgin. There's no way that this man is not a virgin. There is like one very specific kind of unicorn level lady that would want to fuck him in the chair, but good luck finding her. It's like, babe. It's like, it's like, babe. I want to do you while we're pl while we're playing Minecraft. It's like, put on the Minecraft. I love the music. Oh, it's so romantic. Oh, my God. It looks like it reclines, though. It does. It, now, again, if I could have this, I probably would, but I just wouldn't want to show it to anybody. This would be Why like... Why not? That's really cool. Because, again, I want to at least... Like a command I at least want to be with a woman again. I mean, that's the thing. If I have this in my room, all she's going to do is see that and assume it's a like a very stupid, kinky sex toy, and she's going to fuck off. You may as well go ahead and buy it, because from what I've heard, having multiple monitor setups means you're not going to get laid in the modern society anyways. So Let's we're already screwed. Man. You do realize that the that two of the people who live in this house that have a multi-monitor set... I mean, I mean, Kate and Kathan are in a relationship, and you, you have been with another person... Whilst having multi monitor setups. But not anyone that I hadn't met before. I think, you know, the right woman would help you build it. You know what I mean? Like, you need to find. <laughs> yeah, but. I guess, you need to find, like, I a, guess, a, but at a the same game. There's two world. problems with that. A, where is she? B, wait, I know she's not single, she's already dating somebody. Uh, if anything, she's already married and has kids. Yeah, probably. Oh, it may be a stable job where she does that for a living. Women like that don't stay single because no. they're very sought after. Yes. Hmm. What'd you uh. see? What'd you go bark at? Hmm? He's like, I that saw... That was rude. <clears throat> All of a sudden, he's just like, uh, he's like, I saw a bird. It was pretty. <laughs> I barked at it. I barked at it. Boop! 
If you're scared of rabbits, you need to stop. Oh, oh, oh that big, big <laughs> lummox. Who's that big boy right there? Oh, lay down, buddy. He's going to try down. to climb up on your keyboard if you're not going to. Yeah. Lay down. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Good boy. He wants to be up here so He's bad. Like, my mom's in my seat. <laughs> All right. Shall we? Yes. Most to fly the F-14 Tomcat, don't you worry fucko, you can fly with a mouse. My favorite thing about War Thunder, I mean War Thunder, is the frighteningly deep knowledge within the community. Some might say too deep. Play War Thunder now on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox using my link in the description, and you'll get too a bunch of free stuff, multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, boosters, and much, much more. What are you waiting for? Download today and fly a $50 million jet directly into the ground. Bam! <clears throat> anyway, we were not in fact in an F-14 Tomcat, but in Penner's green car. I stopped him at the side of the tractor and hopped out to survey the damage. To make a very long, painful story short, this tractor is a fucking bastard. The very next thing I did was disconnect the tractor from the trailer, which was a terrible mistake. Oh no. I fetched the bike back from home and used it to unflip the tractor with about 10 minutes of finagling. Yes! Hey! Easy, right? I could just simply use the tractor to flip over the trailer and then drive off. Nope. First, I tried lifting the trailer with the forecloader. It didn't work. Oh, no. I flipped the tractor again. Yes! And tried ramming it. No! no, no. no! no! It was it up! It didn't work. It went over the other way. No! Oh, no! Oh my god! I was oh. finagling with the bike and the tractor was unflipped again. What? <laughs> This time, I took things a bit slower, did some maneuvering with the forecloader, and finally got the trailer flipped the right nice. way around. Nice! And the tractor flipped over again. Oh <laughs> no! Another flip of the tractor, and another attempt. Ah. I got the trailer completely flat with the help of the tractor, and tried bumping it with a beer case to help get the wheels unstuck. What? What? Oh! And this happened. Uh, uh, what? What did you... What did you... This was after 40 minutes of the same bullshit happening over and over. I'd get the trailer flat to the ground, it would spring itself back into position, and I'd be back at square one. I couldn't take it. It was time to cheat. I went back home, saved the game, installed the grab anything mod, and went back to the scene of the crime. It turns out this was actually a great idea. When I picked up the trailer, it behaved normally. But, when I let it go, it did this. When I disconnected the trailer at the very beginning, it locked it into that orientation at that position, so when I tried to move it, it would force itself back. The only way to unlock it would be to attach it to the tractor, which was not possible with the trailer on its side. So to fix it, I grabbed the trailer, oriented it the right way around, and stuck it to the tractor. Oh my god. It worked. Back home, it was time to continue. Here's the thing, I've seen the grab anything mod, and you can literally play that, you have that during the game, it makes you god. You literally, <laughs> there will be a bus coming towards you, and the guy on the in the driver's seat will start, or in the, you know, driving the bus, will start swearing at you for being in the way. You can literally pick that bus up, point it straight at the sun, and throw it into the sun. <laughs> Holy crap. I've seen that happen, and honestly, nothing's funnier than hearing the, Somebody! <laughs> like they start cursing you and you see like the subtitles and like you seem nice <laughs> building the satsuma which i managed to get running only for one of its pistons to commit die and fire itself out of the engine i replaced the piston <laughs> and head gasket fired off the car again and took her for another test drive with leds oh no oh, no. oh shit oh, ah! oh. well shit turns out the piston firing itself out of the engine also destroyed the oil pan and the engine had no oil in it. No oil is bad. I didn't know that the oil pan Very had a bad. hole in it. All I had done was check the dipstick, which read no oil, so I tried adding an entire bottle of motor oil, which went through the engine and out of the pan onto Into the floor. Into the engine. Oh. Well done. <laughs> How detailed do you have to make a game to make people go insane? Here you go. After fixing the oil pan and adding another bottle of motor oil, the car did indeed work just fine. The car worked, but my feeble little brain did not. To test the car, I decided against driving it and instead just ran the engine a bit. Enough to get the water in the radiator hot enough to where it exploded out of the can. Oh shit. <laughs> Me, being a bit of an idiot and wanting to get a better look, switched off the engine and unscrewed the cap, which, let me remind you, had a bunch of superheated steam underneath it. Oh. Dead. My eyes! Yep. 
I'm a fucking idiot. Now, the car could run, which is all great, but if I wanted to win the rally race in this thing, I would need to substantially upgrade it. Better tyres, better wheels, a better engine, better exhaust, proper racing seats, nitrous, the list goes on. To get these upgrades, we would need money. Lots and lots of money. And me? Well, I was broke. In my summer car, there are a lot of ways of making money. Everything from chopping and delivering firewood, to putting ads in people's letterboxes, to illegally brewing sugar wine and selling it to the local alcohol. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> so, the old moonshining route. Uh, you'd fit right back, you'd fit right back here in the backwoods, man. Yep. That's all, that's all our neighbors did. <laughs> One of the best jobs you can do is finding junk cars by the side of the road and towing them back to the repair shop. The first bit of junk I found was this bucket thing. The day I chose to do this wasn't exactly ideal. Saturday. The rally would be on, and cars would be flying down the dirt road every few minutes. That, however, was not the issue. The issue was these guys standing by the road to watch the rally. You dick my, of a pussy. <laughs> uh, less than optimal driving. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me, this action had sealed my fate. Since it was Saturday, the shop wasn't even open, so I left the junk there and drove the rest of the way home on the dirt track, where every few minutes an idiot rally driver would smash into me at incredible speed. Back yeah, home, fuck you. I sleep. Today was going to be good. Today was going to be productive. Today, I was going to get the bat. Oh no. Oh. I knew it. I knew it was coming. I knew it. I was like, he's going to open the door and the police are going to be outside. <laughs> like, hello. The, hello, good day. This is police. We are here to throw you in prison. Prepare to hit, take hot dicks up ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yep. That guy I ran over earlier, he, he died. died. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> well, shit. Prison. Our stay here was for 10 days. May not seem so bad, especially considering we murdered someone, but 10 days in my summer car is 20 hours. Factoring in sleep, our stay Damn. here could be as low as 15-ish hours, oh. real time. No abusing safe states, just sitting here. Damn. Okay, time's up. In prison, I had hashed a devious plan. Robbery. Team mode. A simple establishment. The grocery store on one end and the pub on the other. The pub has this inside. A slot machine. <laughs> Timo lost the keys to it a while ago, so it's just been sitting there collecting cash. The plan was simple. Drive the tractor into town, smash the window with the fork, attach the machine to the fork, and violently yank it out of the store. The plan sounded good enough, and so the heist was on. I loaded up the tractor and drove it into town in the dead of night. There, I found our victim, Timo's pub, and the slot machine inside. Unlucky for us, though, were these two guys outside. So with some quick thinking, <laughs> go away! I need to do crime. And uh, <laughs> 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 into the tractor and yanked it out with ferocious Yank. anger. Yes. I took it to the sports field, laid it down on its front, pried off the back plate with a screwdriver, and began ransacking it for everything it had. <laughs> everything it had. Money grubber. Money grubber. Money grubber. Money grubber. Not bad. A celebration was in order. I popped over to Timo's and bought myself a pizza. For 2,700 marks. What the fuck? Somehow he knew I had broken his window and had fined me for my trouble. Prison had made me a violent, angry man. And this sent me completely over the edge. I sculled back a healthy 10 beers and began pissing and shitting all over the place. These fucking bastards had locked me up for doing basically nothing, and now they were taking what was rightfully mine. I drank more. I pissed more. I punched this guy in the head. I took the slot machine to the highway and placed him in the way of oncoming cars. I was here. Prepare them for soon. Fuck it. The rally was on. They wanted to lock- Some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> yeah. for running over one guy? Well, how about I run over all these fuckers? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> well, shit. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Saw that coming. Okay, let's Time do the Time to math. restart. Let's do the math on that. So, if ten, ten, ten days, days was, was 20, 20 hours, hours, so... Oh my gosh. Whoo, yeah, that's over 300. Hundred hours he's waiting. <laughs> yeah, restart. Restart, bud. <laughs>
Like, you have to I'm, sit and wait for almost the entire time I've played Satisfactory. 153 days in prison is a long time. About 230 hours of waiting that I, uh, definitely waited for. You gave me time to think, to consider, to ponder. Was I on the right path? Was a life of crime really for me? No. Once I got out of here, it was time to build the car and win that goddamn rally. And in no time at all, I was out. Our first task was getting the car inspected. I wouldn't even be allowed to participate if the car wasn't road legal. So I had to make it road legal. To do that, I need more money. And no, I would not be partaking in any more crime to do this. I was a new man. So, my first money-making venture was illegally brewing sugar wine to sell to the local alcoholic. You know, like a businessman. Firewood. First you chop it, then you deliver. 3,400 marks. Sewage. My uncle lost his license traveling at 169 kilometers an hour on the M31, and he's Ooh. giving me the keys to his sewage truck. Suck out sewage, get paid. Sewage. More sewage. The sewage truck is very big. Make sure to drive it carefully and watch out for that pole. More sewage. The tank is full. Time to dump it in the waste treatment plant. Whoopsie, I accidentally dumped it all over the floor. We got cash. Upgrades. Rear wing. Very important. Gauge cluster. Bam. Tachometer. Bam. Drunk man is calling. Drive him home. Money. Green car driving. Fuck. Okay. Listen, mate, I just need you to fuck off. Right now. <laughs> grandma wants groceries. I buy grandma a bunch of groceries. Drunk man, live at home again. Sugar wine sold to drunk man. Sewage, so much sewage. Dead moose on the highway. Wait a minute. This is in Finland. Timo wants me to advertise. Okay, Timo, I'll advertise for you, Timo. I have flipped the car. Picking strawberries. Man insults you while you make a terrible wage. Who are you looking at, you fucking dickhead? I forgot about Grandma's groceries. They've all gone off. Here you go, Grandma. Eight kilos of spoiled sausages and 20 liters of moldy milk. Yes, Grandma. That's awesome, Grandma. Can I have my Yes, Grandma. Really cool, Grandma. Okay. Finally. 74 marks. More sugar wine delivery. Hey, look. It's Ken. I'll just stop to let him cross the intersection. Cruising down the street in my 6 4. Jogging the bitches. Slapping the. Is that a B? And now, yes, the moment we've all been waiting for. Inspection. Will we pass? Will we fail? Who knows? Well, this guy does. How does he know? Uh, just fucking banging on the car with a screwdriver. Yep. And what do you know? We failed. You fucking dickhead. Do you know who I am? I need this car right now! You know what? I'll be right back. Oh god. Got him to hit my car with his trusty screwdriver again. And what do you know? We passed. The repair shop owner Fleetari caught wind I had shat all over the inspection shop parking lot and rewarded me with a 50% discount and 10 bottles of the strongest booze in all of Finland. Thanks, mate. Gentlemen, the time was upon us. The car was working well, it was registered, and it had a few upgrades. The day was Saturday. I could just tell big things were going to happen today. I drove to the rally sign-up station and signed up. Well, I would have signed up if I hadn't forgotten my helmet. Shit, 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 shit. Satsuma was in fact drivable, but had been having a few issues with the suspension. Quite a few issues, in fact. Cornering was basically impossible, and when I hopped out of the car, it did this. <laughs> I found that if I took a wheel off, and then just stuck it back on. <laughs> so, rally o'clock, it was. I drove to the start, this guy counted me down, and off I went. Whee! The race did not last long. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, oh, oh no! Oh no! Fuck! fuck. Shit! Attempt, Attempt two. This time was even worse. No! No! Balls! Attempt three. This time was even worse. God! Fuck! <laughs> this time I took things a little slower. Instead of barreling around the corners at over 100 kilometers an hour and flying off the track, I took them at 80 kilometers an hour, keeping all four wheels in contact with the ground and preventing any crashes. This strategy worked. I didn't even crash once throughout the entire track. After I finished. Slow and steady does win the race, boys. Now let's see what we got. Hold on. Yeah, first place got five minutes and 55 seconds. Oh. 
Wow. A full 30 second, 33 seconds faster. Dead, Dead lost. lost. Oh, all right. Okay. You gonna drive off the cliff? So <laughs> all hope wasn't lost. Stage two of the race was tomorrow, and it was the same route as stage one, but in reverse. Surely tomorrow, I would redeem myself. I took the car back to the start of the rally and parked there overnight as per the rules. Except I didn't read the rules closely enough because I parked in the wrong spot. To get to the start of stage two, I'd have to take the highway, which has a speed limit of 100 kilometers an hour. I'd been completely ignoring the speed limit, which turned out to be quite a costly mistake. This little fucker got me going 115 kilometers an hour. Only 15% over. I'm sure the fine isn't that bad. Shit. Oh, that is a lot of money. I didn't have the money to pay the fine, so I just gave him the finger and fucked off. Anyway, I had a job to do. Get a good time on the second stage and try my best to get out of last place. And before I knew it, the rally was on. On the straights, I got up to 100 kilometers an hour. And in the turns, I could manage just a bit below that. Of course, going at the speed with my flimsy little car, mistakes were bound to happen. We spun. But we could keep going. Then we flipped the car. What? But we could keep going. Then we launched it into a ditch. The door was hanging off, but we could keep going. And then we hit a rock. Oh. Oh no. We, we could not keep going. going. No. I was extremely close to the end, so I jumped out of the car and legged it all the way to the finish line. I still had a bit of hope, despite all the tumbling around the car, we had driven fairly well, and so I checked out time. It, uh, wow, it wasn't good. <laughs> My time was so bad, it didn't even show up on the leaderboard. A time so terrible that it sent me spiraling into a deep depression. I drank a case of beer, drove to Fleetari, found the 10 bottles of booze, and drank until I blacked out. And blacked out again. In true Finnish fashion, I salute you. And blacked out again. And again. And again. And again. And then it was next week. During my bout of violent alcoholism, I found 9,000 marks of unpaid fines on the kitchen counter. Fucking 9,000 marks of unpaid fines. So, I was in a lot of debt, the police would probably be at my door to throw me back in jail soon, and I still had a rally to win. Things were not looking good in the Mark household. I needed money and fast. So when Mr. Drunk Man called at 2am asking for a ride home, I obliged. I picked him up and he began his usual drunken babbling. But this time he let me in on a little secret. His wife had bought a winning lottery ticket, and he had stolen it and the money without her realizing. He said he kept the money hidden away in a suitcase. How much money? Five million marks. If I could find that suitcase, that would be enough money to pay off my debts and build the rally car of my dreams. Did I really want to steal from this man? I had sworn off a life of crime. Yet here I was, considering stealing millions from this guy who thinks he's my friend. Approximately three seconds of pondering later, I concluded... Money. To find the briefcase, I would have to scour the entire map. Every little nook, every cranny. Oh, look, there it is. <gasps> oh. I threw it in the back of my car and drove home, having a minor accident on the way. Shit. Oh. I opened the briefcase, and oh my, that is a lot of money. Literally 15,000 presses of E later, I was left with one and a half million marks. Much less than the advertised five million, but hey, he probably spent it on sugar wine or something. It was time for some upgrades. Oh, I bought the yeah. entire catalogue. The best suspension, the best carburetor, nitrous, a new steering wheel, all the cool body panels, the best radiator, time on the dynamometer to measure our immense power. Shows you kids, crime does pay. <laughs> Take a lesson from that. Thank you, Martin Cito. If Pence. you don't get caught. Yeah, yeah. And most importantly, a cool paint job. Gentlemen, Ooh, nice. the car was ready for round two. I gave it a good test on the highway, and of course I got pulled over and fined 30,000 marks on the spot. <laughs> Dickhead. The car was ready, but I needed some practice. So I took it to the dirt track and drove the route over and over. Every corner, every gear shift, each slight bump and bend. I even got rid of the stick shift that switched the paddles for speedier shifting. And a couple of hours of practice later, we were finally ready for competition. Saturday, the start of the rally. Big things were about to happen. This dude counted me down, and off we went. The car was very fast. 
All the upgrades had turned it into an absolute weapon on the track. I shot past the repair shop, around the sharp bends, went a bit wide on this turn and hit a tree, but let's ignore that. Past the turn off to my house, past grandma's house, over the train tracks, and across the line. The pace felt very good, and checking the standings confirmed my suspicions. Ooh, yes. Ooh. That's right, fellas. Lally. First place. I was officially in the running to actually win the rally. All I had to do was have a similarly good performance on stage two. I took the car back to the parking area and parked in the right spot and went back home. Tomorrow, I was gonna win. Back home, I sleep. This sleep was a bit different. I was not woken by the pleasant sounds of the Finnish countryside or even the phone ring, but by a belligerent drunk man in my room with an axe. Ah! Holy oh shit! shit! <laughs> Turns out he. Uh, <laughs> Good shit, and just fucking knocking him out in one punch like that. God damn. Damn. <laughs> oh my god. Our boys got hands. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. I was not expecting that. It was like, my alarm clock didn't wake me up. Neither did, uh, neither did my phone ringing. Said it was a drunken bastard with a, a shirtless drunken bastard with an axe. Oh shit. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. I love this game. I didn't appreciate me taking his money. Fair enough. <laughs> well, with him subdued, I went to finish the rally. Stage two. This time I'd parked in the correct spot and wouldn't be incurring a time penalty. I took the car to the start of the next stage where I signed up, and before I knew it, the rally was on. All that practice had paid off. I knew the corners. I knew the bumps. We flew over the train tracks, past Grandma's house, past the turn up to my house, into the sharp left turn, past the drunk man's house, past the repair shop and the mansion with wasps in it, through the farmland, and before I knew it, the race was done. There it was. Oh yes. We had driven <laughs> pretty damn good, and we're 30 seconds ahead of second place. Sit back and enjoy this. I knew just how to celebrate. The fireworks back home. On the way back, hey. I crossed the bridge. I'd crossed the bridge many times at this point, but this time, it felt different. What the oh, hell? No. Oh no! Damn! It's fucking dark. Wow. What the fuck? What? Why Jesus! He just ends I wouldn't know if that ending was actually in the game or if he actually just set that up somehow. <laughs> I think it's actually... Because, again, again, you gotta think... If that's a storyline plot that you can, an optional storyline plot that you can take advantage of, steal that guy's money, you fight him off, and then he has nothing left, and he basically just does that. Hmm. That's pretty freaking dark, man. Yeah. I mean, that's worse than I was expecting. <laughs> Much worse. Damn. It's like, but this drive, but I drove across the bridge, but this time it was a little different. And then I just don't 100% believe that he just had a feeling to check the bridge when he drove over, you know. I like, think maybe someone in here cuz again, he live streams when he plays this. So maybe somebody someone in the someone chat was just like was just like know. go back and look at the bridge. There's nothing on the bridge. It's like look harder. <laughs> look under and the bridge. And he goes under the bridge and sees it and I guarantee you right then and there his Twitch chat was just like, "Yes. Yes." <laughs> and and he's just like, "You evil bastards." <laughs> Good lord, this game. I want to play it, but at the same time, I I I don't want to risk like again, I don't want to risk just like losing my mind playing it cuz holy shit. 
That's a lot, dude. That's a lot. I I, I didn't. <laughs> oh. So yeah. Getting killed even more in my summer car by Martin Cito pants. I mean, I guess it's going to be getting killed even more, more in my summer car <laughs> next time. Well, I mean, he won the rally. Is there anything else left to do? I don't think there is. I, well, again, I think he's going to come back and just be like, all right, that was Doc. But you know what? I always look on the bright side. All of a sudden, you see him just like, He's talking about this, and meanwhile, you just hear, like, the body, like, swaying from the bridge. You hear, like, the... <laughs> My he's just He's just like, so, on the bright side of things, I won the rally car race. On the downside of things... Yeah, that happened. <laughs> so, I'm going to go back and do it the honest way. So... Good luck with that, if so. <laughs> so, and he snaps his fingers, and he's back at the beginning. Again, I don't know. I... Whatever he's gonna do, I'm I'm gonna be excited to see it. But anyway, I don't know what else to say at this point. This is this this oh this dude's insane. This dude is hilarious, insane, and this game is hilarious and insane. So what did y'all think? Did y'all want to see more from Martin Cito Pants? I mean, I mean if you do, click his name. And uh, I guess until next time, signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I am Nick. And, oh yeah, there's Asher. There's Asher, Bilbo, all the Asher, cats are Bilbo, down here. Asher, Bilbo, yeah. Well, save for Callie. I think Callie's still upstairs. Yeah, she's in the room. Where's oh, Mr. Okay. Kitty? He's here somewhere. But there's Billy Bo. Hi, Bilbo. But, Hello. until next time, everybody, we'll here? see you then. Peace. No. See ya.